What is going on guys and welcome back to the Pokemon League. So last episode, this guy this guy defeated my freaking Leafeon. So Leafeon's dead as hell. But, you know, whatever. Let's actually take the item from you, take the Razor Claw. We'll give it to Grandpa just in case it comes in handy. We are about to battle Cynthia, the champion, and it's going to be pretty intense. I do realize that I was stupid throughout the first four members. I should have used Reptar more. The initial plan was to have him evolve by the time I got to the champion. I now realize that in the midst of it I totally forgot and he is chilling at level 54 and he's halfway to 55 so that's that's kind of sad. I did stick the EXP share on him though so he is going to probably evolve at the end of the champion battle which is kind of annoying. I don't know. I wish it would have been a Tyranitar for the champion battle. I feel stupid for not letting it happen but what are you going to do? I mean there's nothing I can do now. He's whatever. I had a Pupitar from the start. He's going to He's gonna be a pupitar to the end, you know? That's... whatever. We're just gonna go with the Ash mentality like Pikachu. Like, I don't need him to turn into a freaking Tyranitar. Cynthia, have you been keeping well? Thank you for Mount Cornets and for the Distortion Worlds. I'm truly grateful. Together, you and your Pokemon overcame all the challenges you faced, however difficult. It means that you've triumphed over any personal weaknesses, too. The power you learned, I can feel it emanating from you. That's enough talk. Let's get on while you're here. I'm here to beat you, Cynthia. That's... you already, you already know. Well, she's actually Cammy. The randomizer decided that she, Cammy, is a more fitting name, so we are now about to battle Scribe Cammy for the last match of the Nuzlocke. Let's do this. She leads off with a Spiritomb level 58. That is kind of weird, because doesn't Cynthia normally have a Spiritomb? Doesn't Cynthia normally lead off with a Spiritomb? What, what the fuck is that? That's kind of strange. Is she not randomized? I don't, I don't know. I threw Big Cheese out in the front because, I don't know, seemed like a good idea. I was hoping for like a water type or something, but of course, this damn spirit tomb, so um, all I can do is like Thunderbolt, I guess, just to get some decent damage. Let's see how much this does here. I don't know, like, what this thing wants to really do, so let's see. This, ooh, 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 that Thunderbolt crit, though. And now the spirit team is going to Nasty Plot. Okay, okay. Well, I can just uh, finish you off with one more T-Bolt. Oh, okay, of course not. Of course she's going to full restore. Well, that's fine, though. You can get, get the full restores out of the way early, you know, whatever. I'm saying nasty plotted, so it's actually kind of scary now, considering it can probably kill me with an attack. After the plus two, it's a lot of levels higher. Ooh! And did I just get that paralyzed? Are you serious? Are you serious? I got okay. Well, this next thunderbolt's looking like it's gonna kill, and big cheese coming in clutch with the thunderbolts today. If this if this kills, it probably will. And that is a dead spirit tomb with a critical hit. Jesus! So much hacks off the start. Got two critical hits, a paralyze. Sorry about that spirit tomb. I could have totally been dead there. Um, so let's see, next is a Weezing. Big Cheese is honestly probably the best best guy for the job here with his special attacks. You got Okay, so apparently her, her team is randomized, but she just happened to have... Happened to have a freaking Spiritomb. Hmm, what are the odds of that? Anyways, let's just Thunderbolt this... These Disco Balls here. These guys do not look happy. Weezing looks just so miserable. Ooh, that did some damage. And he's gonna hit me with a Sludge Bomb. Don't get the poison, there's no chance of this killing, I don't think. And it does less than half, but of course, she does get the freaking poison. I can go for one more T-Bolts, and that is going to be a dead-ass wheezing. That's two out of the way, four to go, and then we're going to be freaking champions. And I will have won the Nuzlocke Challenge. I really am... Oh, Skitty. She's about to send in a Skitty. Okay, well that's... Well, that's just fantastic. <laughs> Cynthia has a Skitty. Wow, not even a Delcaddy. A Skitty. The power is real. Anyways, <laughs> I'm just gonna use Reptar. Uh, we got Double Edge Me. Ouch, Skitty. I would feel so bad about myself if I so one of my Pokemon died to this Skitty. I would literally probably quit Pokemon forever. Um, anyways, like I was saying, I would really like to beat Cynthia this time just because of the fact that the last time I did my Diamond Nuzlocke challenge, oh, she's gonna switch. Cynthia totally defeated me last time, so we'll see. She's gonna switch into a Chikorita. What what what, what the hell is going on here? Cynthia, you got a Skitty and a Chikorita, like, why wouldn't they get- <laughs> the randomizer was not kind to you. Although, it's not really kind to anybody. Let's switch into Pimpcrow here. As it's gonna go for a Solar Beam. Okay, at least it goes for powerful moves, but this wing attack is definitely gonna kill ya. So, sorry about that, Chikorita. <laughs> but yeah, Cynthia freaking defeated me last time I did a Nuzlocke on this game. So, we'll see if we can get some revenge here. It's looking like it. Oh, next is a Raikou. Okay, alright, that is not a good matchup for Pimpcrow. But that is a perfect matchup for Reptar here. I don't know what this Raikou is going to want to do. Level 62, like holy hell, that thing is fucking powerful as it sets up a Reflect. So now my physical attacks aren't going to do a whole lot. This Earthquake is definitely not going to kill. 
which is sad. But, I don't think this thing will really have anything too powerful to hit me with, unless it has like hidden power ice or something like that. It's just gonna go for a crunch, so... Okay, ow, 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 oh my god, critical hit, and the defense drop. Jesus, are you serious? That is not good, that is not good. Let's... We got a full restore here, I would kind of like to stay in here on Reptar to be able to get the full experience, but it's looking like two crunches is going to kill, maybe not, maybe, no, I don't think so actually, I think this next earthquake is going to kill it. Oh fuck though, but what if this crunch kills me? Oh Jesus, I'm just playing with death here, oh my god, I lived it with 16 HP, I kind of, I expected to live that, but you know, you never know, Pokemon sometimes just fucking throws me curveballs, let's see if this next earthquake kills, that is a dead Raikou, hell yeah Reptar, you don't even need to be a Tyranitar, you're, you're just a boss just how you are buddy. And alright, we're almost level 54, next she's about to send in a Jinx figures, Cynthia has a freaking Frostitute, of course. So Jinx, huh? Well, I don't have, I really don't have much for Jinx, I guess I could just go into Grandpa and get that little, unless it, unless it wants to like put me to sleep, but I doubt it. Let's go for a Rock Slide, it's gonna go for a Parish Song, okay. So that's completely fine, I'm gonna switch out <laughs> before this is gonna even come into effect. Parasong is uh, only effective if paired with like a shadow attack Pokemon, honestly, so p opponents can't switch. Let's see how much this rock slide does to you, Frosted, too. Okay, it's gonna be a nice little two hit KO. The reflect wears off. Alright, alright. You know, gonna go for a ring out. Hey, don't be ringing out, Grandpa. Rule number one, Frosted. Jesus. Well, it's not very effective. Still did a whole bunch of damage. One more rock slide is going to finish off the Jinx. And we are getting there, boys. Grandpa grew to level 56, and Reptar is going to grow to level 55. Hey, now he's a Tyranitar, but not yet, I guess. Anyways, next is that Skitty, so we're just going to go ahead and switch. Let's go into Face Paint, just to absolutely destroy this kitten. Just absolute overkill. Her last Pokemon is a level 58 Skitty with 5 HP left. I wonder if I can win this. I wonder if I can win this. I'm just going to finish it off with an Avalanche. Oh, nope, nope, just going to full restore. Of course she has to make it go longer. Figures. <laughs> the avalanche might even kill it in one hit though. Oh, nope, not quite, not quite. Well, I'm about to finish you off with a rock climb, and that is overkill on your weird little pink cat. So, well, guess what that means, guys? We have freaking done it. Just a few minutes ago, you were the most powerful challenger, and just now you became the most powerful of all the trainers. You are now our newest champion. Hell to the yeah! We are champions, and look what is happening, Reptar is evolving, so hey, I kind of stuck to my word. I said that Reptar was going to evolve throughout the Elite Four, and hey, it, it happened. It, I mean, I didn't get to use it as a, a Tyranitar, but hey, I freaking evolved this thing, finally. It didn't die, it got to live to see the day where it becomes a freaking Tyranitar, so hey, that's cool. Now, now the, Nep the Reptar nickname actually works, so that's cool. That was excellent, truly, an outstanding battle. You gave the support your Pokemon needed to maximize their power, and you got it the most certainty to secure victory. Hell yeah, I just beat the Nuzlocke challenge. I'm pretty hyped right now, honestly, guys. Cynthia was pretty easy, though. I, I guess you could say her Chikorita and Skitty were not, uh, not helping her out too much. But <laughs> I'm still excited, though. Randomize the Nuzlocke. This was this was really fun. This is probably the, probably my favorite Nuzlocke I've ever done, to be quite honest. We're gonna go up this little thingy to this weird, crazy. What the hell is happening in this place? Following these green ass lines. Oh, what is happening? Cynthia, why are you making me go first? The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. And oh, Professor Rowan came to visit. What's going on, buddy? Hey, and your last battle was splendid. Were you watching? Like, what the hell? Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm. A child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come with and witness the glory. Okay. Hayden, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion. Hey, thanks, Professor. You still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Yeah, yeah, Hayden, step this way. Alright, so we're about to enter our Pokemon into the Hall of Fame. The best part of a Nuzlocke ever. Entering my Pokemon in here, getting that nice little little team recap. If your last time here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Cynthia was crowned champion a fucking couple of forts, not fortnights ago. You, your names will be recorded for prosperity, okay? It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make permanent record of your achievements. Let's do it. Stick my guys on this little platform thingy. And these are my good buddies that helped me defeat this game. We got Raichu, Big Cheese. <laughs> Met at the Lamp Valor Lakefront. We got Grandpa, the Relicanth. Everybody's favorite. 
Then we've got <laughs> Reptar the Tyranitar, who is a new Tyranitar. This thing was a fucking Pupitar the whole entire time. We've got Face Paint the Mammoth Swine. Not bad, not bad. We've got Haunch Crow, the Pimp, well, Pimp Crow the Haunch Crow. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And last but not least, Khalifa the Leafeon, who went out burning, which totally makes sense. But anyways, this is my sexy team, guys. That that team, I don't care what you say. That's a damn good looking team right there. Even if it was still a Pupitar, still a fucking sexy team. Probably the best team I've ended a Nuzlocke with, quite honestly. Well, guys, I just want to uh, take this opportunity to say thank you if you've ever clicked the thumbs up button on any of these Nuzlocke episodes. It was a, it was a long journey, but it was a, it was a really fun one. I had a great time playing this game. Um, I'm just glad that there was a lot of you guys that had that were able to share this experience with me. Honestly, I would do these, I would do these series even if there was no viewers. If I had five people watching, I would still do these types of videos. But I'm just appalled at the fact that you guys are able to come in so strong with all your all your support and everything. I've gotten a lot of support throughout this series. I'm really glad that you guys enjoyed. Um, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know who your favorite team member was. Grandpa, I have a feeling, is probably going to be up there. <laughs> Grandpa was probably my favorite. Honestly, I caught him really early on, and he was able to stick around for the whole entire game, which is really amazing. I'm going to let these credits roll for a minute, guys. I just want to say thank you. If you could hit that thumbs up button on this video if you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace.